the Spring State Nebraska Esports Tournament. And it's now time for some Division Three Smash Bros. In this matchup, we have Ward's first team versus Thayer Central. Ward with a perfect 12-0 record, coached by Jesse Roseberg and Aaron Snyder. Has players Samuel Burkholder, a senior who is playing Little Mac, and... Go ahead. And Dylan Rogers, a junior, who is playing Ridley. And for Thayer Central, with a record of 8-4, coached by Ryan Walters and Ben Bowling, they have two freshmen, Milo Waters on Incineroar, and Cole Hatcher, who mains Samus, although it looks like he's going with Belmonts for this matchup. Game 1, these are best of 5. First stage is PS2, and let's see how this one goes. Interesting start, Incineroar fishing for the revenge right away. Belmonts throwing out projectiles to try and get some chip damage in on the red lane and the Little Mac. High recovery by Belmont, goes punish. Good punish by the Little Mac. Ridley blazing across the stage. Good edge guard on the Ridley, and that'll be Incinera's first stock out of the game. Already a great start for Ord 1. Incinera hitting the side B. I think it's a Lolan whip. Um, oh, and we have hazards on. Yeah. Uh, okay then. Guess we'll have to go turn hazards off and run it back. That's a little bit unfortunate start to the set, but it's fine. It's just more content. Alright, so assuming that instead of playing Samus, Old Hatcher, or State 7 Heaven, as his, as his tag is, is going to go Belmont, in, uh, Belmont instead of uh, Samus, um, how I, the matchup, hmm. Richter should really be for Simon. It's not going to be Simon, it's going to be Robin. Uh, this will be interesting. Robin should just use the projectiles to try and keep Little Mac away. And if Little Mac does get close up, you need to try and find a safe retreat. Uh, different starting stage, this time we're on Battlefield. And again, for the first time, definitely, we're starting game one. And starter with the early damage lead on the Ridley. Good parry on the neutral air, no punish though. And now Incinera is getting absolutely grappled by Ridley's command grab. Two separate 1v1s are developing. Little Mac is all over the Robin. And Incinera and Ridley are doing their own things. Little Mac off stage. And with a counter, it gets back on stage to get past the Incinera back here. Incinera side B. Uh, that move does not have end lag. Well, it does. You just can't see it. Um, but it Little Mac tried to punish, but was immediately hit with Yuppie. Robin off stage against the Ridley. Tex against the back air, or Tex the back air against the stage. Robin makes it back to safety. Command grab, Ridley coming through with Robin and so. Incinerator being juggled by Ridley. Air dodges. Gets back to stage safely. Little Mac F tilt knocking off stage. Robin Thoron clearing off the stage for a safe Incinerator. No, Incinerator doesn't quite make it back. First stop down. Board in the lead. KO punch just went off. Nope without use. Um, Robin's going to go down to the Ridley command grab. Ward now has a two-stock lead, although both Ridley and Little Mac are essentially one hit from dead, especially with an instant around the field. Interesting that the late part of that up here connected on the Ridley, and Incinera confirms off the down air. Gets it, well, not confirmed, but Incinera uh, converts off the down air to get a stock, although immediately loses his right after. So Ward still remains at a two-stock lead. And Turner trying to go for a kill off the top. Of course, he really was at low for sense. Little Mac getting absolutely obliterated by the Levin Sword. And now orders back to a one stock lead. And Turner are trying to revenge Thoron. Unfortunately, he's a little bit too early. Uh, Robin out of recovery. So, gotta be a little careful. Robin research management is a little tricky. Um, although, dropping the books and sword would be interesting. No tech on the Sage Spike this time. And Robin goes down. Two stock lead for Orton. Ridley is cleaning house. And so we're up B, not gonna finish off the Mac. I was really close to. Uh, neutral B to punish the drop shield after Larry, or after the missile whip. Uh, Incineroar lives. Little Mac gets knocked out. Or now up by one stock, but Incineroar on Death's doorstep, essentially. 
back air catching the Ridley's jump out of shield. Goes for the down air on a jump read, does not get it, Ridley does make it back to stage safely. And Incineroar goes out off the top to, I think it was Little Mac. Up, B, maybe. Uh, now again, it's a three stock versus one scenario for Robin and an unfortunate miss input on the, on the side B to end off game one, board with a pretty solid three stock win. Uh, adjustments going into game two. Uh, so the way this works for stages is the loser gets the first map, it's random stages between Battlefield, FD, Kalos, Lilat, PS2, Small Battlefield, Smashville, and Town and City. Uh, after the first game, the loser gets to pick out of those stages whichever one they want. Uh, as for adaptations, okay, State 7 Heaven is going back, is going to Samus. Darkwater switching to Sonic over in Cinder Park. Um. Oh no, not controller issues again. Okay, looks like it's figured out. Uh, some adaptations that they or Central can make for this match is just. This same thing I was saying earlier today for the Mission 4 stuff is just bully the little Mac off stage. He can't mix up his recovery that much. You have two characters who can very much be off stage against Little Mac. Um, as for Ord, just keep using Ridley's massive aerials to try and wall out approaches, and you have to be able to get in on the Samus. Game 2 off to a relatively even start, although Ord a little bit behind in percentages, it's not far. And I did not specify, but Ord is on the green, Player Central is on the yellow, KO Punch for Little Mac is online. Looking for the confirm. Uh, Samus does end up rolling out of the KO Punch, so no, no early stock for Ord. Instead, Little Mac goes down to the Sonic F Smash. Tries to punish the Perry Sonic Neutral Air with a forward smash, does not get it off in time. Ridley Command Grab is a teammate. Ridley Command Grab not quite taking out the Sonic. Forward air going to the edge guard. Does the Sonic still have a jump? He does. Easy with no! Misses the tech on the stage spike. And Little Mac up smash will take out Samus, giving order one stock lead, although Little Mac is halfway through the second stock. Hail Punch is almost on online, however. Samus with the charge shot in pocket, ready to give it a launch. Goes across the stage, Ridley gets KO'd by Sonic, and it is now two stocks to everyone. The KO Punch does not quite kill Samus, Samus has just enough weight to survive. Uh, Ridley charging up smash across the stage, hoping that Little Mac will knock someone into his direction. Does not work out in time. Sonic trying to take advantage of the Ridley charging forward smash by throwing his, his uh, opponent into his teammate's smash attack. Does not quite work out. Samus having a duel with Ridley, probably for revenge for what happened to her parents in the Metroid games. And Sonic is showing Little Mac what speed is. Ridley offstage, and the forward air is going to catch the Space Dragon. Not quite going to finish off the stock. Samus goes for another one, and Ridley up, pretty sure to save Samus, but it does not matter as the back air connects, closing out Samus' second stock. Oh! Nasty. Charge shot knocking. Um, Little Mac into the Ridley up smash, which also caught Samus. Closing out both of those characters' second stocks, leaving Ord still at the one stock advantage, although Little Mac gets gimped by Samus. It's now a two stock game. Little Mac immediately takes Ridley's spare stock, making it a two versus two again. Samus down smash, catching the Little Mac roll in. Gotta be wary of the KO punch. Uh, if, that goes, if that goes up, it could close out any stock at any moment. Samus down smash, getting Little Mac towards the ledge. Little Mac air dodges to safety. Little Mac off stage. Samus does not connect on the Little Mac. And Ridley also gets back to stage safely. Sonic with a nice little conversion. Catches the jump. Little Mac does not have a jump, but he does get back to stage safely. Uh, air dodge does not get punished. Sonic at high percents, two versus one. Cannot close out the game. And Or takes game two with a narrow two stock victory. Interesting character adaptation 
on State 7 Heaven. This part, uh, switching from Robin to Samus, Samus being more floatier and flexible off stage really does benefit you in this matchup considering Ridley and uh, Mac are very easily edgeguardable characters. Um, I wonder if he will stick with that character selection or if he will switch back to a Belmont or Robin for game three. Darkwater is also switching up characters going with the Greninja. No, not so, not selecting it. Okay, no, sticking with Sonic. And of course, or, no. Okay, we have a different character combination yet again. This time we have Lucario and Simon. Uh, Lucario's aura might play a factor in this, considering that a lot of these stocks have been lasting past 100%. Uh, Belmont's just going to be doing standard Belmont neutral things, throwing out axes, crosses, and holy water, trying to just catch his opponents. Lucario off stage, Ridley down smash catching the recovery, and Thayer Central is at a very heavy percent disadvantage. Ridley going for the early kill on the Simon, although Uppy does catch him out. Interesting clash of attacks on the part of Ord, which sends Simon flying off the stage, and Belmont recovery is not ideal. Ord back with the stock advantage, although Lucario does have some aura built up. Ridley getting hit with the axe out, out of the air, still not quite enough to close off the stock. Lucario forward air, still not enough, and up air trading with Ridley down air. Lucario lives and Ridley t loses stock. Even stock count. Never mind. Ridley down air secures the Lucario stock. It is now Ord up by one. KO punch is online. Felt. Richter is definitely. Not Richter. Simon was at KO percent for that. Uh, Lucario was not, and it whiffed anyways. Uh, Ridley down smash trying to catch the Lucario recovery, not quite going to get it. Belmont off stage, let's see if Rid Ridley does not choose to uh, go off stage to try and guard it. Lucario has a lot of aura from being behind in stocks as a team. Uh, aura Sphere almost taking out his own teammate. Simon should be able to make it. Simon does not make it back. So down two stocks and two oh, They are central really on the back foot here, taking a first, finally taking Max first stock. Lots of rolling around on the stage. And Ridley down airs. I think there was a bit of confusion off stage. Ridley thought he was Lucario. And that is a maybe a blessing for Thayer Central as a way back into the game with Ridley throwing away a free stock. Lucario has a lot of aura. Stuff is Lucario's back air will kill very early off stage, especially on this map. Dash attack not going to be able to secure the kill as Lucario stays alive. Rick, uh, Simon at very high percents, and unfortunately the platform moved away, so Lucario lost a safe landing and fell straight to the Ridley down smash. Back to a one-stock deficit for Thayer Central. KO Punch online, probably looking for a kill on the Sicario. Misses the Force Palm and immediately capitalizes on it. It is now a 3 versus 1 for State 7 Heaven Simon. Against a Ridley and a Little Mac with the Belmont recovery, I don't know how... It, well, Ridley threw... Ridley uppies off stage and SDs not quite get back to the platform. It does not matter as Belmont cannot recover from off stage. And Ord wins the set 3-0.